Good evening, everyone. Many here know the story of UFC fighter Derek Brunson, a Wilmington native and Hoggard High School alumni, now turned one of the best mixed martial artists in the world. Today, he stopped by the WWAY studios to talk about his career, his upcoming fight, and how he's giving back. Mixed martial arts is my life, it's my passion, so I wanted to get an environment where people can train and live the martial arts life and have fun doing it. That's why UFC great Derek Brunson created the Brunson's MMA and Fitness Gym in his home city of Wilmington. Brunson will host the grand opening of the gym in Independence Mall Saturday, a place where he can share his love of MMA to anyone who wants to join. You're not thinking about, hey, I'm tired of running, I'm tired of doing this. You know, you're just like in the moment, the music's playing loud, you're working combinations, you're punching the bag. So it's a good experience. So it's for aspiring fighters, people looking to get in shape, people looking to stay in, in shape, and just people who are just looking for a good environment. Gyms like this could create the next UFC great like Brunson. He's coming off a loss in his most recent fight in Charlotte, but that hasn't hurt his confidence. As a professional athlete, you can't win them all, you know, so even if you t have a setback or take a loss, you got to keep the level headed and understand that you're, you're building for bigger things, trying to be the champion, you know, trying to compile a good record and, you know, try to look good, good while, you, while doing so. He hopes to look good once again this August when he fights Antonio Carlos Jr. in UFC 227 in the City of Angels. He's been back to training since the loss because he says that's where the winning ways begin. Uh, typically don't really focus on the opponent too much. I always at the gym focus on how do I get better? You know, how do I make improvements? Because I believe if I'm at my best, then I'm pretty tough to beat. Brunson shows any kid growing up in the Cape Fear region with hard work and heart can make it. He hopes he can instill that in the future ultimate fighting stars of tomorrow as long as they're ready to work. When you know you can fight or are confident in your skill set, you're less likely to try to impose it on others. You know, it's just that quiet confidence. So. Um, get in the gym, you know, train, and when, when it comes to training, take it seriously. You know, show up every day and keep getting better. Day two of the CAA tournament went down Harrisonburg, Virginia today with the UNCW softball team looking to get past the College of Charleston after a loss in their first tournament game to the Cougars. Winner advances, loser goes home. We go to the top of the second with a girl on first, Kelsey Bryan. She's one of the best defensive players, and this is why. Steps on second, gets the place, throws it to first, got her. That's a big double play to keep CFC off the board. But that wouldn't last long. They're up 1-0, and this one makes it 2-0. That baby is gone. See you later, folks. A solo shot home run makes it 2-0 Cougs. Celebration is on. They continue to pour it on here, folks. Top of the fifth shot out to left field. Off the glove there of Tracy Haynes. Can't make the play. Two runners come home to score. And that would give them a 4-0 lead that they would not give up. Season ends for the UNCW softball team in the CAA tournament with the loss to Charleston. And here's Coach Christy Norton after the game. Yeah, right now we're going to let it settle in a little bit. You know, I hate this happening for our seniors, but, uh, you know, one thing about college softball is that there's always a next season, hopefully, for the coaching staff and the returning athletes. Um, but we, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I think the Seahawks uh, have a bright future. Attention all the golfers out there. Tuesday Summer Golf League is returning to the U Muni Golf Course in Wilmington and there's still time to join in on the fun. The season begins next Tuesday the 15th at Muni and will run until August 28th. This is the second year the course has had the league and they features two player teams competing in another pair in a nine-hole match play, David Donovan, the PGA pro at the Wilmington Municipal Golf Course, says they had a pretty good turnout last year and hopes for a lot of the same this year. Now for more information on how to join, log on to our website, www.tv3.com. Man, it was great to have Derek stop yes. by the studio today. You got to talk to him. I it's did. really great to see Folks from the Cape Fear doing big things. And the thing was, you talked about it, you know, with him being a, you know, world-known UFC fighter, he was so humble and just so personable and so nice. You know, he just seems like he's done such a great job inspiring the kids who look up to him that are in Wilmington who may have never thought they could even be a mixed martial artist, That's you know? It. We got We got stars in the yeah. big world there. Yeah, he was so cool, and I'm glad that he was not only able to talk about it, but his next big fight, which is in L.A. at the Staples Center. Yes. How scary is California. that? California. <laughs> no, you're California. <laughs> and see, California UFC is huge, and here it's like starting to really pick up, so I'm excited to see what's yes. next. All right, so Saturday, you're going to work out with them? 
Sure, yeah. There you go. All right, you heard it here, Derek. He's coming. All right, guys. Thanks, Dustin.